Well, uh, here is our 2001 Ford Windstar minivan and the driver's side window does not roll down. When I press the button to roll it down, it just makes uh, the lights dim slightly, which makes me think that the uh, motor and the window regulator is either binding or is burnt out. Um, there's a lot of ways to test it. There's some YouTube videos and I'll link to those uh, to uh, point out where I looked first on troubleshooting this, but I haven't found anyone actually showing the replacement. So let's replace this window, uh, window regulator and all because I bought the parts more than a month ago so I can't really return them. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so uh, for this, I always mess up on this and try and pry along the edges like my other cars, but this does not pry off. The only part that pries off is this piece right here, which you can kind of get with your fingers and pop it off. It's just got a little metal clip. The rest comes off with a screw, a screwdriver, not this. We will apparently need a 932nd socket. So we'll just unscrew that there. And there's two underneath the handhold here. The screws won't necessarily come all the way out. But there's a light right there. We'll want to be wary of that because that means there is a bulb in there. Which means there are wires coming from it. So we don't want to yank off the wires. So I'll put these off to the side. And now, if all goes well, I should just be able to gently lift the door up. Well, you know what? I'm I need to pull this off first, but I do. Okay, so this outer sleeve just pries off with fingernails or whatever, and now the door just slides off nicely. There are wiring harnesses over here. Hmm. So there's that light bulb. A, it just twist locks, so it's pretty easy to twist out. There we go, and that's the door. I just replete, released these three wiring harnesses right here. There's buttons to press on them, and this just twists and locks in place. So now we're left with uh, the sound dampening um, and, and uh, water insulating panel. I have removed this before, so it's barely held on there. Normally you want to take a razor blade or a scraping tool and scrape along the edge, but since I've already done that, I can probably pick up whatever has restuck just with my fingers. Otherwise, this is a boring and tedious process to make sure you don't do any damage. There's our door, there's our wiring harness. It's held on by a clip that I can't easily get out, so we'll just try and work around that. And you can see the rivets. Um, I see there's four of them here that hold on the main assembly. There's some nuts and bolts that uh, hold on the uh, rail. And then there's the, the motor right there. Okay. Now the irony of all this is we're going to need to lower the window at some point in order to remove the screws that attach the glass to the assembly. Um, the instructions tell you to lower the window by attaching the um, controls and I'm kind of curious as to who replaces their window arm and regulator if their window actually rolls down. Um, I don't know what the... <laughs> who would be able to follow that step of the instruction, but I certainly cannot, so. That window's not. Okay, so before I start drilling out these rivets, um, I wanted to make sure that this is what I think it is. So here's the concept. This bar right here is being lifted 
um, up and down on these two uh, little slides and uh, so this bottom piece is going to slide in this track right here so while I'm at it I'll probably grease that track up um, this has tons of grease everywhere on it so here's the motor uh, over here it's got a spring just to keep it smooth and um, carry most of the weight um, but you know I dry fit it just by lifting this up and eyeballing it and saying yeah that pretty much looks like where the rivet holes are. Okay so now we're gonna drill out these rivets. This is the kind of the point of no return. I really don't know how I'm not digging into the door yet. Um, That looks like a broken rivet to me. Now, I use a pair of pliers. Try to scratch this as little. Look at that. I just removed my first rivet ever. It's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, three more of these. Look at that. I'm just gonna tear this off. Or maybe pull it out. There's the rest of that rivet. So there we go, all four rivets are done. I no longer need to drill. So the next step says to remove the remaining holes and then just slide everything out of this access panel. And uh, one size up from a 10 millimeter for me was 11 millimeter. And oh, look, it, it fits because the other one was just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the wiring harness coming off. There we go. And there, let's try and bend it over here so it's not flopping inside. Because if anything comes down, I don't want it cutting anything valuable, such as the cabling or wiring harnesses or my fingers. Um, so now, it's time to loosen things up. First, I never start taking bolts off entirely until I've verified that a bunch doesn't just start shifting all of a sudden and put a bunch of weight that I wasn't expecting on it. But, okay, we're gonna be careful because this rail is going back in when we're all done. So any nuts in here like this one, we wanna make sure these don't pop out. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to rotate this. Huh. I really hope this fits my new one. Now we've got to somehow get the glass lowered and get the rest of this down without hurting ourselves. Let's see what happens when we pull this out. Just out of curiosity, see if I can loosen this up. Um, so I'm gonna see if it'll grip at the end. Not really gripping. I'm probably just gonna tear this thing up to where I can't use it once I have the right tool. Well, it is now loosening with the harness up. That really hurt my hand. Um, I don't like the way that it feels, so I'm gonna very slowly pull this down and just make sure. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Um, 
but that was a weird sharp pain. Eh, as a bonus, I got some extra grease. So now the harness and everything is being held up by my tape up here. So what I'm gonna have to do with my stupid greasy hands is hold this up, remove the tape, while holding the window up from the bottom. Allow the window to lower a little bit. Okay. Until I can get to the... Oh, I gotta lift it up. Okay. I'm gonna get some more tape. I've got to remove this arm right here from the window without causing damage to the window. There's a rivet holding the glass onto the regulator arm. I'm going to need to drill and punch a rivet out of glass. I should probably price new glass. Okay, so we're gonna just try and dribble off that post. So, that rivet. No idea if this is going to work. Okay. I'm really hoping that I'm not cutting a bunch of other junk in here too. But I really don't know what else to do, so let's try this out. So uh, I touched the back of it and it is incredibly hot. So I'm gonna try and get some pliers back there and see if I can grab any of that and start peeling it off. It's really difficult doing this not having access to the other side. I have gotten the um, bulk of it pried off with a uh, pair of pliers and that is going through. Ooh. I'm just barely tapping this. Oh, I just heard a noise. That was a rivet falling. A rivet fell. I got this side off. Like, I'm not joking. I'm gonna reach my hand down in there and see if it's still hot. There is the uh, piece of the rivet that was on the other side holding it in, which means now this glass is separated on this side. Now I have to figure out how to get the Dremel on that side. But there's a wall in between. I may pop off the speaker and see if that helps. A car like this before, see how well it goes. I got a little wiring harness on here. Well, let's see if we can use the magnet to just hold the speaker in place for us. Oh, that's all it is. <laughs> well, that's easy. I like that. Let's see how well this goes.
this is the piece that went on behind the glass. See the other side has um, metal. So this piece, this plastic piece, went behind the glass. And there's another piece that is strictly plastic that snaps in together to hold the glass. And then a pop rivet goes through all of this. So now it's just a matter of putting it all back together, um, which is probably going to be just as annoying and difficult and frustrating for me as tearing it down. But once I do this, I'll be um, experienced enough at it to do it quicker next time. Okay, so I've gotten the assembly in. Now it's time to uh, mount it. I did have to tweak these uh, tabs a little bit to make sure that they fit properly. So now I've got my rivet gun. Have a rivet loaded. I'll make sure that this is the right size. It is. There we go. Oh. Now I've got to wiggle this into a position because it is not fitting. There we go. Well, I'm too long winded and I ran out of video uh, storage space, so I had to delete a lot of scenes. Uh, I just put these two um, rivets in here. So now I'm going to test out how this rivet gun actually works because this rivet in particular, I'm going to be putting um, this size rivet in the glass. And I really don't want to shatter the glass. So I want to know how this is going to behave first. Okay. I'm going to open it up all the way. Oh, see that snap? That little things like that really bug me. And I'm gonna compress it again, all the while not breaking a sheet of glass. Open it up all the way. And I'm gonna push it through even further. And then, before I get too much further, I want to test that the arm actually moves up and down so that then I can have this support the glass and bring it to the level I need it to in order to attach the glass to the arm. So it came with an adapter so just plug in to the power brick that it came with. There we go. And then plug into the forward power clip. Now Grab uh, my switch, plug that in, put this into accessory mode, and now, haha! -ha. Have it. There we go. Okay, now it is catching the glass. So now I'll take all my crazy tape off. There we go. So this hole is now lined up so I can work on it. Now the trick is I need to get this between this metal rail and the glass and I need to get this on the other side. Obviously this will be easiest I can do that afterwards. So I'm going to start with this plastic shim and slide it up underneath. And there it is. And I'm going to put this metal piece on the other side. And they snap together like that. I don't know if I believe it or not. But the theory is I'm going to put this through there and not totally shatter the glass. I'm going to go ahead and put the other shim in on the other side. Okay. Okay, so the last step here before we put everything back together is to mount the glass to the arm. They want us to do that using a pop rivet. Uh, that's the way Ford did it. I am not about to do that. I feel like as soon as I do that, the tool that I'm using is going to pop 
and the vibration is going to shatter the glass. So uh, I'm a little bit too much of a wimp for that. So I got a three quarter inch um, uh, bolt that fits perfectly in this uh, number 20 locking nut, uh, quarter inch um, nut. So I'm going to put the bolt in through the back if I can. Aha! And then put the nut on the front. And now I'll just get an angled um, screwdriver to go back there and hold it in place while I tighten this up from the front. And I'll do the same to the other side. And uh, now that that's in place, I could easier, more easily roll the window up and down without fear of it popping off the track. So other than that, we're good. I totally forgot these two pop rivets. So, uh, got some. We're gonna have to adjust and get them to fit. And then I'll, uh, pop them on. Okay, so I have both pop rivets in. I got them in by, uh, put, pressing them in while moving the window up and down. So now... Here we go. Yep. A little slow. A little sluggish, but at least it's held in place firmly now, and I might put some grease in here while uh, it's open up, and I'm done. So now I'm just putting the speaker back in, plugging everything back together the way that it was, putting the door uh, together, and oh, really? Well, you'll just have to trust me. It went really well, and now it works great.